Mission complete. Looks like I've grown. This? I feel like something could happen. I'm getting a little nervous. What do you think? You found quite a bit, right? It's going well. Using a useful skill. It's time to finish making this. I did it! It's done! What property should I transfer? Is this okay? Okay! It's done! Level up! It sure is loud. I wonder if something happened. Miss, this is bad. Teo! Cortez, what happened? Another sand dragon has appeared. And this time, it was seen near the city. A sand dragon? It would be awful if our freshly repaired ship was damaged again. It's still strange. Sand dragons are supposed to be pretty docile unless they are provoked. Shall we? What? Another one? Do you know her, miss? Yes. Her name is Shallot. We share a nickname. Hmm. Uh, so much activity is going on. Yeah. A sand dragon is nearby. Sounds like it. Is your ship all right? Yes, it is. And thanks to the materials you brought, the repairs are going well. Oh, good. But I've been hearing whispers that our ship is the reason why the Sand Dragon is acting this way. What? There's no way! Hmm... Do you... trust us? Of course! Thank you so much! So you recommend we do nothing? We don't have a choice. We don't even know the cause behind the dragon appearing. It doesn't matter if it was spotted nearby. It hasn't done anything yet. Well, I have reports of several ships out at sea that have already been sunk by it. None of the reports confirm the Sand Dragon is the cause, though. Without evidence, it's just a rumor. Damn. Research shows us that the dragon usually sleeps in the sand. And? Even if we can't prove that it's caused damage, seeing its activity is more than enough. Coming up with some countermeasures wouldn't be out of place. I'm glad you understand, Soul. Absolutely not. Countermeasures would only cause people to panic. And the last thing we want is a population of insecure people. Why don't you understand? Because if we waited for something to happen, then it would be too late to do anything. This is the Union's view. The Sand Dragon has already done damage to the town. We should get a team together to take it down. That sounds more forceful than necessary. But if it means a clear sea near Stellard, it might be for the best. Idiots! And what would you do if your useless provocations made it actually attack the city? That's why we plan on killing it before that happens. Look, listen to me. Yes? None of the city's ships can confirm the Sand Dragon caused any harm. But there is a ship that has already been harmed. What ship? The Outsider's ship, actually. They were attacked by the Dragon before they fled into our harbor. What are you saying? The rumors of a rogue Sand Dragon started right about the time they arrived in the harbor. By which I mean, the ship may definitely have something to do with the Dragon's activity. This sounds like it could use an investigation, but I can't deny the possibility. What are you gonna do if there's a connection? I really don't want to see any more harm done to this city. I'm not opposed to the idea of a hunting team. But if they fail, a significant amount of its already low fighting capacity would be depleted. If fighting the Sand Dragon is our only option, 
We should send that ship to the front line to ensure our success. You want to use them as bait? Think of it however you like. But that is the condition of my cooperation. The people going out there all have families here. I only have the greatest respect for those leaving their families behind to brave the Dusk Sea. That's why they need some reassurance to go out to face the unknown. Sacrificing the people of the city to protect it wouldn't solve anything. What's your plan? What do you think is the right thing to do? There's no correct answer. Right depends on what your personal views are and where you stand. <laughs> you're a cold one. Though, you're not completely wrong about that. I want Stellar to be a town where everyone can live in peace. That was the decision that was made. Well, you still did a pretty good job fixing it, Dad. It was easy with all the correct materials. Oh! Good work, Tail. This means... The repairs are complete. We can sail again, just like new. Thank you. You did an excellent job. Well, you seem pretty chipper today. Oh, Raul! Look! The ship is repaired thanks to your materials. That's great. The other Shally will definitely be happy. <laughs> I hope so. So, Shalistera. I was wondering if you had some time to discuss something important. Me? That's why we need you to lend us your strength. To kill the Sand Dragon. I feel bad asking someone who's come such a far way for help. But our offensive forces just aren't enough. I understand. It's thanks to the people of Stellard that our ship is fixed. So... I'm so sorry, but we can't reply right away. Cortez? And Teo? It's rude to eavesdrop, by the way. Still not as bad as you. Uh, Cortez? You're going to stay and help with the sand dragging that's causing trouble. That's not that weird. I know about the problem Stellard has. But it is Stellard's problem. It's not ours to help. If our ship was destroyed, or we got hurt fighting the dragon, would Stellard save the village in our stead? Our village gets worse and worse every day. We can't put it off any longer. I think I know what you mean. I understand. Give me your answer after you've had some time to think about it. Raul, I'm sorry I can't give you an answer earlier. It's quite alright. You should be happy you have such good friends. Pardon the intrusion. That was easier than I thought it would be. Huh? He, he was intending on using our ship as a shield. That way, even if they failed to kill it, the city itself wouldn't have taken much damage. No way! Raul isn't like that! I agree. Cortez? Yes. Raul is young but decisive. He seems like a good leader. He didn't seem like he decided on this issue, though. He's hesitating. You seem like you've gained a lot of insight, Cortez. The way he hesitated and went around in circles. He knew he was making a crummy proposition. He doesn't seem like one to lie so easily with a straight face. Well, I still think he can do it. At least he can make a decision based on the things that are important to him. The important things? Teo, Cortez, our job is to save Lugion from its crisis. But to do that, we need to be accepted by Stellard. Delicate situation indeed. Teo, Cortez, could you leave this decision up to me? Shelly? I want to hear what people have to say and make a choice based on that. But... Should we consider this an order from the daughter of the chief? Uh, the representative? Honestly, I just want to run away. But I feel like Shelly would follow through. That's why I... Yes! I want to do this as the representative. Very well then. May a thousand voices and ten thousand thoughts guide you, miss. Regardless of your answer, we will be your strength. Yes, we're here for you. Thank you, Teo, Cortez.
You want to hear about the plan to kill the Sand Dragon? That Sand Dragon is definitely not happy. At this rate, no one will be able to fall asleep again. Observations have showed us the Sand Dragon being sighted numerous times, necessitating countermeasures. Yeah, but who's going to join the hunting team? It's so dangerous. The decision to use the Outsider's ship is a good choice. It's mobile and sturdy. I repaired it myself with the materials I gathered, so I should know. So you're suggesting our ship be used as a shield? I wasn't that excited about it, if that makes any difference. I feel bad having to borrow their ship. They need to help their own village, after all. The people are just too worried about that dragon. It needs to be dealt with. They believe the flow of goods will stop, and some have started buying up food and other supplies. If this keeps up, the lower class is going to have food issues. I had no idea that was happening. It would be nice if there were a better solution. We've already been trying, Eska. Don't worry about it. Okay. I guess I should have expected that from you, Sol. Anyway, that's what's going on. Everyone just needs to think positive and keep their spirits up. This area should be Protector God, Sand Dragon! Then why is it? Dusk, probably. Dusk sea spreads. Keeps spreading. Water dries up. All must be retaliation. Still exciting for me. Sand Dragon. You could make strong weapons and armor with alchemy, but I doubt it would be enough. Raoul, my sister, everyone's being reckless. It isn't a decision to be taken lightly. You seem pretty chill, Mirica. I know my limits, and the stuff I learned in Central isn't of much use. This might be none of my business, but Stellard is finally trying to unite. I want to help them with that, at least. Even Gerard came here to buy weapons and armor. Parian? Well, it sounds like you really are thinking about Stellard. <laughs> yeah. You want to know what I think about the operation to slay the dragon? I see. In my opinion, it should be left alone. Investigations tell us that the dragon is quite docile when left alone. Provoking it by attempting to fight it will only make things worse. But the people over at the Union seem blindly intent on killing it. In that case, the ship that initially provoked the dragon should be sent out as well. Is it really our fault the Sand Dragon is acting up? The initial cause doesn't matter now. But if it came down to a battle, nobody would escape unhurt. And if people from Stellard were injured in the fighting, who do you think they would get angry at? You're saying they'd be against us? I believe that's correct, yes. That ship has plenty of fighting capabilities. But I wonder how people would view it if it were to hang back. But if it were used to fight for Stellard, what would people think? Therefore, it's my decision to include that ship in the battle. I don't care if you think I'm cold-hearted. It's for the good of the city. The chairman has no higher priority than the town. He wants to minimize threats that appear, just like the Union. Though, to tell the truth, the whole Sand Dragon incident is beyond expectations. There is an unknown cause somewhere. At least, that's what the Chairman thinks. The decision to include that ship in the subjugation team was a difficult one for him. I ask for your consideration as well. Shally! Shally! What a coincidence! Meeting in a place like this. It is, but things are getting quite serious around here. Yeah, you're right. Also, thanks to you, the ship is all fixed up. Thank you so much. 